So in Evansville, Indiana, we have a young sister by the name of Amira Donahue. Now she was a hostess for the Olive Garden. And when, you know, she, a woman had requested for hot water, it took a ugly turn. Now I want you to hear this clip and the sister gonna explain exactly what happened. Of all the customers. Two black employees claim they were targeted with racial discrimination. Amira Donahue was the hostess on duty as the incident unfolded. She says a customer's request for hot water turned into something ugly. But she asked for a server that wasn't black and the manager complied. And I do agree that that was a bad decision at the moment, but there was a way better way that could have been handled. Donahue says the woman's actions didn't stop there. And the lady also made comments about me to my other co-worker saying that I'm not family friendly, that I should go work at a strip club instead of an olive garden, that am I even black, like am I from here, am I from America, just like offhand comments like that and referring me to like the other one. An Olive Garden spokesman says the company does not tolerate discrimination of any type and that senior leadership is investigating. The Evansville NAACP says it has not received a formal complaint, but it is also investigating. Reverend Gerald Arnold says he is withholding judgment and he wants to make sure everyone's voices are being heard. It's, it's probably not going to be the culture because they have a very diverse staff, a very diverse clientele. I go there myself. OK, and uh, so 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 we have to investigate all those things. As for Donahue, she says she's still reeling from the pain and shocked at the events of that Saturday night dinner rush, but hopeful that a positive change will come from this experience. I would never expect it to be just so apparent in public. And it was just like it's 2020, not 1920. We should be over this. Something should have been done. And I feel like it should take more than just social media to get a problem like this out there. So the manager of that particular Olive Garden was fired for complying with that customer's request. Now also the very weird thing for me was the customer stating to the sister that she looked like she should work at a strip club. Like why? Like what a strip club got to do with Olive Garden? I mean, you just, it's your filthy mind. You, you probably them saying people that don't wash your hands and take baths. And that's why we got this stuff spreading around anyway. So, when she asked for a basically a white server and added that the customer proceeds screaming at her in front of all the customers, uh, two other black employees also was targeted in the incident. Now she was definitely upset for the manager going along with that and rightfully so. Um, and that manager is in an unemployment line. See, you know, that manager wanted to be on code uh, with white supremacy, but not thinking straight. And I'm glad they lost your job. Now they stated that we have a zero tolerance policy uh, for discrimination of any kind. And the manager involved no longer works for the company. That's what Olive Garden stated. So the sister and her coworkers that are black are still rattled by the incident that brought her to tears. She said the customer's bad behavior apparently didn't stop with taking exception to the employee serving her. You heard also in this piece that really bothered me, this, you know, NAACP guy. And I'm like, I shake my head, you know, blah, blah. I go over there all the time. And like, bruh, I don't care if you go over there a thousand times. If they treat a brother or sister wrong, then you need to be on code completely and say, hey, wait a minute, hold on. It don't matter how many times you went over there because when you do something to one of them, they're gonna make sure to not go patronize your business. Look at the honeypot company. Just because that's such a said about inspiring black girls, they were trying to harm her business. It was just saying that. So this was outright discrimination. And then this is why a lot of us have issues with that civil rights generation in our community. They, they just kind of like, well, I got to investigate. Like you, you give massa the benefit of the doubt that that's what they do when they have proven for over 400 years, they don't give, none of us have benefit of a doubt and surely look at all the incidents and problems that we have had over time. So they was asking why didn't the manager just ask that person to leave because he's upsetting the other customers with the ignorant racist demands. But once again, they're going to be on code. So here's the thing. The sister is going to be okay. She'll be all right. She got to really see white supremacy in her face. And that would take some of us to really, understand what's going on. Now she's a young, she's a young sister. She, like I said, so trust me, the older version of her is going to be extremely sharp when it comes to dealing with that sort of thing. 
but I would never tolerate that. Matter of fact, they would say it to me, oh, I don't want a, a, a black server. I want a white server. I'm like, oh, cool, man. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm glad. I don't want to be around you. You know, I'll go tell them what happened. But I say, hey, they don't want me because they, I'm black. They want a white person. So I don't know how you're going to handle that. And that customer should be banned from Olive Garden worldwide. They should have a ban for that person. I would want that person's money or, or treatment coming in my place. So trust me, as a company, I've gardened, don't want that heat. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with the young sister and the request. I know she said it's 2020, not 1920, but then people don't care if it's 1920, 1820, 1720, 1620, or any other 20 you go put after that. The hatred for the black man and a woman is a very real thing. And they look at us, we're talking about the white supremacists, as their natural enemy. Thank <laughs> you.